Who's a cheese maker? My name is Christy Slotemaker, and I am owner, operator, educator of River Valley Cheese. When I heard about River Valley Cheese and its cheese making classes, I knew I had to do a story. Oh my gosh, it looks like an ET phone home, guys. Wait, 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 you gotta see this. River Valley Cheese was founded on the premise of just wanting to create a place where people can come and play and have fun and be creative. For three years, Christy Slotebaker taught her students not only how to make cheese, preserve the curd, preserve the curd, but the rich history behind it. Look for this little symbol, this little symbol here, I'll hand it around. What I didn't realize that day is that I filmed the last class at River Valley Cheese in Issaquah. Two days later, a fire broke out. So on February 19th, I got a phone call to come down to the property. And uh, on my way down, I realized there had been a fire. Thankfully, no one was hurt. And while the building is still there, it's too damaged to salvage. So yeah, it's been really rough because you lose your business and you think to yourself, it's just stuff. And of course, the first thing you think about, thank God no one was hurt. But that stuff is gone too. And although spice containers and kitchen supplies are there, they're covered in smoke and chemicals, and so they're not safe to use. Plus there's carcinogens, and we're dealing with food products, so it's over, right? It's more than just stuff when it's your business. It's the relationships that you build with your students. Um, it's the commitments that you bring to the table. It's all the memories that you have in the space. One thing that did survive was her grandfather's dictionary brought over from Holland in the 1920s. For Christy, it was a reminder that while things look dark, hope is still there. I'll tell you, it's like I get out of bed and I have to like hold on to the wall to city myself because I'm like, oh my gosh, your business is gone, but it's not gone. Because while the building might be gone, Christy certainly isn't. The fire happened one day. I couldn't, I barely slept that night. The next morning I woke up at 2 a.m. and I, start, I was online and I was ordering all supplies to get back into business. Christy is working to bring River Valley Cheese back in another location. She's already started looking at locations and she created a GoFundMe to pay for her lost supplies. We need 100 bowls. We need 200 spoons. We need, you know, induction burners. The pain is there, but Christy isn't giving up. What else are you gonna do? I can't cry, you know, because my mascara will run and that would be bad. This chapter of River Valley Cheese is over, but Christy is working to write a new one. What keeps you going? <sighs> what keeps me going? The pure desire to get back to teaching and it playing <laughs> with the students again. You know, I mean, they're my, they're my tribe, man. I just want to be with them again. And it's just the driving force that keeps me going. I just. I love it.